In this video, I will show you how to do alignment and advanced field alignment of everything regarding conversion. Please refer to the main video. So, when you want to do alignment, the first thing you do here is you select standard exposure. Then we can select our software template, in this case, orange. Then you select add layer down here. Whatever is written in the first layer, don't worry about that. Only consider the second layer. And in the laser, you select what wavelength you want. We bring in a design that we want to expose. Now, in this one, the line cross uh, is orange and therefore mandatory. So if you double click this one, we get a long list of different possibilities that we have. We can either choose one from the list or we can make a new one, give it a name, select if it's top surface or back surface, and then write exactly where our position should be. In this case, we would just select the one in question. And then of course we can select our resist, delete it, and then we can say load something. When you have loaded the substrate, then you can come to this alignment screen. In the yellow pane, you can see the different steps that we need to take. You can see a depiction of the wafer and where the marks should be, depending on which template you chose. Over here, you can see the positions of the marks. So mark number one, and this one, starts at minus 30,000, plus 30,000, it's fine. Make sure it's a top surface so we don't lose the back surface. So we can do alignment in two different ways. We can do automatic alignment or manual alignment. So I'll show you both. So first we say move to the first cross. The camera will go in the vicinity of the first cross and then click the overview camera to get a different view. If we then use the cross app, we can move into the vicinity of the alignment cross. Low resolution is good to define if we are at the right position, and high resolution by far gives you the best uh, accuracy. Now we can then click measure, and it uses the entire frame, makes these orange boxes to center the cross. If we accept this position, we can say accept. If for some reason we cannot find this position or it's damaged, we can say skip position. So in this case, let's start with the accept position. Move to the next point. Again, there can be some rotation, so we might need to change where the position is. But as soon as we have two of these, or the rotation is very small, it finds it quite easily. If for some reason we have a mark which is small, we can click Resize Detection Area. When we have this orange box, we can either make it larger, or we can drag it around, or we can even draw one which we want to measure. Click Measure again. Of course, now we're in the center, we can select high resolution and we can just say maximize detection area and measure and then we know we're using the entire area. Resize detection area is good for a smaller sample, smaller crosses, or if you have several crosses close to each other and you have to select only one of them. If you then click accept position, we can go forward to the third, which is more or less aligned because now it knows the position. Now let's try to do manual alignment instead. So instead of a measurement position, when we click measure, we get a yellow pane around this um, the camera screen. If we click S, we can toggle a square. If we click C, we can toggle a circle. Scroll in makes it larger, scroll out makes it smaller. So now I'll try to use the square to align to this, it can also be used for um, and then send across. It can also be used for letters or circles or other things that the machine cannot detect itself. And then we can say accept position. And again, make sure it's the final position and accept. When we have completed everything, we come to this screen. Now we can see the design name light source, dose, defocus. If we want the machine to expose the alignment process as well, we can still do it here. We don't right now. 
then we have the rotation point of the sample. And if you use four alignment marks, you can also do scaling and shearing. And I definitely recommend you to do four alignment marks and do scaling and shearing because it gives you by far the best alignment. You can also do advanced field alignment and field alignment. If you click on this one down here, then you can expose your single design in a array and each of these chips can then be aligned to a cross. So in this case, let's say we have five by five. And then the step size should be 15,000 in both X and Y. Then we can say, which cross should we measure? So 1.1 would be the upper left corner. 1.2, 1.3, so the first value is x, and the second value is y, and this one would be 3.3, and this one would be 3.4, and so forth. Let's say we measure number 3.3, and then down here, position of the cross is where uh, the cross is according to the center of the design. In this case, it's in the center. Let's just try the same measure. Use the navigation button to move around to the first cross, the center cross, or whatever you need. If we are happy about this position and the alignment mark, we can say accept position. And then, if everything is as we want to, we can press start exposure. 